Hello judges, we are Team Sequera. Firstly, I would like to introduce the members of our team. I'm Zheng Jue, the project manager, and together with me are Sheldon, the builder, and Yan Pin, the programmer. Now, I will be talking about the mechanics behind our robot. Our robot has a four-wheel drive mechanism powered by two large NXT motors. We chose to use four-wheel drive due to its capability over terrain and increased traction compared to two-wheel drive. The base has a square frame with wall guiders for easy wall aligning and wall guiding. We used a pair of omni wheels at the back to help us achieve accurate turning. Our ultrasonic sensor used to detect items on the playfield such as obstacles and evacuation zones. It is attached to the handle at the top of our robot and tilted slightly downwards for more accurate detection. We have two light sensors set to HSV mode used for PD line tracking and junction detection. There's a 1cm gap in between the sensors with both having a 1.5cm clearance off the ground. The gap in between the sensors gives us a preferred line tracking radius and the 1.5cm gap above the ground allows us to clear speed bumps, debris and other types of terrain smoothly. Next, we have a light sensor to detect the color of victims in the evacuation zone. The light sensor is also set to HSV mode and placed between the claw system for easy detection of the balls before it is collected. It has a 2.2 cm vertical clearance off the ground to ensure reliable detection of the victims while maintaining ground clearance. The claw system to collect the balls in the evacuation zone uses a grab and lift system which is powered by one medium motor. After collecting the ball, it will deposit it in the ball and cube storage place. Our ball and cube storage system consists of two sloping axle wheels that allow the balls to slide along it and stop before the passive release trigger mechanism. The rails can hold a maximum of three balls and one cube. The passive relief mechanism consists of a push lever that is connected to a 24 tooth gear that will turn a 12 tooth gear connected to the gate holding the balls. We decided to gear up the release system as the gate needs to turn a lot more than the axle lever that will be pushed against the 6cm balls of the evacuation points. Now we will be moving on to coding. The overall program runs function in a loop and executes action based on encountering certain situations on the playfield. We use HSC mode throughout the entire mission for line following, the detection of junctions, all elements of the evacuation zone and exit zone because HSC values are more reliable in varying lighting conditions and hence can improve accuracy of the colors detected. To improve the junction detection, the robot, after detecting, will move a little forward to double confirm the configuration of the junction and move forward to check for the black line before proceeding to the corresponding action such as turning left, right or back around. For entry and exit of the evacuation zone, we also use HSV values to detect silver and black tap respectively. If the robot detects the black tap before it has completed the evacuation plan, it will return to the evacuation zone to continue its mission. To avoid obstacles, if the ultrasonic sensor reflected distance is less than certain threshold, the robot will turn and do a smooth curve until it detects black line and continues line following. This ensures that the robot can navigate around obstacles without, without getting lost or struck. When the robot first enters the evacuation zone without knowing which side is the evacuation point and which side is the exit zone, it checks for a corner by using the motor store check and then starts using a spiral searching method to pick up silver balls and black balls accordingly. Once all the balls are collected, the robot checks for the evacuation point by using the color sensor to detect the color of the wall of the evacuation points and deposit the balls as well as the rescue kit according to the color of the wall. After depositing the balls and rescue kit, the robot will glide along the wall to find the exit zone. Using ultrasound sensor and color sensors, the robot can detect the exit zone and move completely out of the evacuation zone. This evacuation plan ensures that the robot efficiently navigates the evacuation zone and completes its missions. Thank you for listening to our presentation.